All right, something is going on here. So I just changed the substrate for some of the snakes. Well, these tubs are all empty. Although these two are gonna get these snakes in here, the super pastel and the pinstripe. In here, um, I put substrate on this tub. Although I forgot, uh, <laughs> it will still take uh, another month or two until the, um, the ball python comes out of quarantine. But I hope this substract does not um, deteriorate or anything. I'll just leave it open because it has way too much moisture, so I want to dry it. I bought at the pet store these water bowls. They're pretty cheap, two or three dollars. And you can see by the writings in here what's coming <laughs> so next week we'll have some surprises i still need to change the substrate of this big mama here i will put the same the forest bark on the others i have that plantation soil and that other snake breeding shit this white aspen shaving shit so and now for something completely different. Here we are again in my crib and I'm about to show you something that you might find funny. So this is my clutch killer incubator. Careful, cause it's flammable. <laughs> I got uh, an independent thermal couple here. I've been stabilizing it, it's 30.4. I've got it set to 31 degrees let's check inside at 31.7 on the top of the egg box 29 29.1 33.4 at the bottom so I'm still fine-tuning this incubator this is a shitty incubator made of styrofoam but uh, I gave it a cool name let's see if I don't kill the eggs <laughs> I have already shown you in a previous video this filer for office paper A4 paper so pretty much it has a little gap in here that the little snakes could find a way to escape if they force it my finger, my finger can get through it but I, I don't want to have any escapees so I am using this as my future hatchlings rack let's see how it will look like when it is done here it is the hatchlings dungeon so pretty much I have measured it and these tubs are a 4.5 liter tub so the little hatchling that will come on the middle one that has a more constant temperature will come here I gave it a little hide just cheaply built out of a used milk box I have the let me get this out of the way. I have the thermocouple uh, stuck, the tip of the thermocouple probe stuck in, in here. Got the little water bowl. And in terms of temperatures, I've been measuring 29, 30 degrees. And at the back, it's a little bit warmer, 37. I punctured a few holes at the back to facilitate the um, airflow and the heat transfer and a few more at the front in here so I pretty much taped it with masking tape all around to in order to let some light pass but not letting the, the snake escape and to give it a little bit more of cover because this is fairly tense, transparent I don't want the um, little ball python to be overexposed and feel stressed and not eat I have the thermostat here at the top regulated for 32 degrees that's the temperature that I've found that well tuned it gives me 30, 32 degrees at the back and I put a little bit of insulation um, 
at the back uh, of the, the heating element. The, the heat pad has been doing a fairly good job. It's not as wide as the whole back, but it is transferring heat homogeneously and creating this first third of the tub where the height is. The warm spot, then there's a middle ground as of 27, 28 and at the front it will be the cold spot at around 25 degrees. That little one in there is the um, hatchling in, um, rack but it, I will also use it to keep under quarantine one of my little snacks that I am about to acquire or to receive. This other tub that I bought, uh, it will be used as quarantine for a larger snake. It is a 25 liter box, I put a little sticker in here just for fun. I made a, a whole bunch of holes, top and bottom, left and right, at the front, at the side as well and in the middle. At the back, it has a few more holes in here. I have a cardboard just to use it, um, a bit of insulation for the heating element. And I am using paper to spot for mites. In case of mites on the new snakes under quarantine, I can easily check for their existence and it's easier to paper it's very, fairly easier for these next months or two warm spot at 29 degrees although this says 33 on this thermostat this is a Aussie thermostat that I bought in uh, Australia so I have to use this adapter but uh, pretty much what I'm trying to show you here is that I'm gonna receive some snakes they are going to go through the quarantine procedure I'm not falling for the experience of other breeders and other... This one here, I already have set the, the thermostat into a daytime and nighttime temperature drop so uh, she will start to develop follicles. We're in March I asked the, um, the previous owner uh, if the, the, the snake the, um, Mojave Bee had bred this year, he said no, so I will probably do a late clutch with her. It might work out, the cinnamon is pre heavily pregnant, this one will take a couple more months to develop follicles, so I am guessing that I will not have two clutches at the same time in the clutch killer incubator. The other pair of snakes, the head clowns, they will come into my wood terrariums, I will use them as quarantine so they are not uh, in the, um, the wood rack I have there for the first couple of months and I will house the super parcel and the pinstripe in the tubs, in a couple of days I'll move them here, I'm just waiting for the, the moisture to evaporate a little bit for the substrate that I just put to dry up a little bit and in a few months I will have all of these racks except for the one at the bottom I will, uh, out of it I will have seven occupied the other snakes that uh, will be in the kitchen uh, under quarantine they will occupy these displaced terrariums that's the, the way I'm figuring uh, I want to do things and so that's my plan um, keep an eye out on my channel for next week's videos once I receive my new ball pythons and I will have my collection complete for the time being this is what I want so I will have a super pastel jungle I'll breathe her to the um, pinstripe and hopefully I will get lemon blast and pastel jungles I'm getting a um, Mojave B so that spider and Mojave also crossed out of these list I will have clown, head clowns, I'll make my clowns, I'll have a hidden gene woma, not a woma tiger. Uh, I will get the, le the lesser platinum gene, the spot nose, I already have the cinnamon pastel. I have an inchy fire, so I'm hoping that the descendants of this bugger will uh, separate and I'll have a single inch, a single fire, have the lesser, leopard, ball gene and granny. So this is pretty much my plan to have one of each of these single, uh, single morphs 
um, to get a couple of combos, double double jeans for the time being, for the next half a dozen years. And if some triple morph um, pops out, the better. I'll keep her or him as a powerhouse male and decide what to do in future breeding plans. Cheers! Ha <laughs> ha!